Happy Friday! Who is so excited that Friday has arrived? Yay! Actually, as a mom, I think Fridays are, the weekends are more busy, busier. Busier would be the right English word. <laughs> I think Fridays leading into the weekend are kind of scary for most moms because the weekends are so incredibly busy. I know personally that I have like 110 million things to do this weekend. My daughter has a volleyball tournament all day and night tomorrow and all day and night on Sunday. And the weekends just have so much going on. Sometimes it's kind of refreshing for the week to get here, right? Because Monday is like calm, cool. It's like routine, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Hey Joseph, how are you? Hi Carmela, how's it going today? What's new, what's going on? Who's excited that it's Friday? Whose weekends are busier than their weeks are, right? Which one is it? Are you guys excited that it's Friday? Do you got big plans for tonight? Or are you like, oh my God, there's so much going on. Hi Vince, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I just made. My children are gonna be super happy when they come home from school today. Hi Carmela, how are you? Okay, check this out. Keto banana nut muffins, okay? So the recipe that I posted is banana nut bread, whatever. I put them in muffin tins, it is what it is, right? I actually made muffins and I also made bread, banana bread, okay? I aim to please and I wanna make everybody happy. There's a chunk taken out of here already. So this is what I did. Let me tell you all about it, okay? I, okay, this recipe can go one of two ways. If you're strict keto, no bananas, no actual bananas. But if you are volleyball, uh, you are a volleyball official as well, who knew? How interesting is that? This girl right here didn't know anything about volleyball until my daughter started to play. And now that we like live at this volleyball place, I know a little bit more. Although I was taking pictures the other day with a flash, the flash was on on my, and that's a no-no. I'm just letting you know. That's not, I don't know if it's a volley, it's a, it's a no-no. It's a no-no in the volleyball world. I lived and learned, okay, fine, you can take pictures. Just no flash. I guess it's distracting to the players. Hey, you know, a mom gotta learn the ropes along the way, right? She's my fifth kid, and it's the first time like I have any kids that are like competitive volleyball players. Who knew, right? Okay, so here's the deal. Banana nut muffins with pretty Christmas. <laughs> this is what I had left over and it is what it is, right? And so this is what I did. The macros and the recipe that I posted above do not include chocolate chips. However, for my children, I made this bread and I added chocolate chips, but I added Lily's chocolate chips, which are completely keto friendly, but they are not included in the macros. But that's just for this one. This one has nuts on it and this these muffins have nuts okay but these muffins have chocolate i aim to please i have to make enough for an army and i have to make them so everybody likes them so when they come home from school i don't have a revolution on my hands you know what i mean you get me so here's the deal um I would red card you. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm like I would get in big trouble if I took pictures, right? I was taking pictures of my baby girl. She looks so pretty. Just no flash. That's the thing I learned. Just no flash. Okay, so this is what I want to tell you guys about banana keto banana nut muffins. Because as we all know, or maybe we don't all know, bananas have a bunch of carbs, right? So here's the thing. When I'm cooking for my children, I sometimes, I, it, I'm not counting carbs for my children, right? Because they're not like strict keto humans. Like, let's be real. They're like, I don't really want to be keto humans, but I force them to be keto humans. It's kind of like when, you know, growing up, our parents made us eat Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts today, but when I was growing up, I was like, no way, the devil, you're not bringing Brussels sprouts near me. And that's how my kids sort of sometimes feel about keto. They're like, if it's keto, that means it's not going to have any sugar in it. So it's not even like a good thing, right? 
but here's the deal. So I will tweak things for my children and you can too. So here's the deal. I am strict keto. My children are not strict keto. This recipe is a strict keto recipe. However, I always have bananas on my kitchen counter because I feed them to my children, okay? So you can add bananas, but you do not need to add bananas. And this recipe does not include real bananas. It includes banana extract. See, this is how we fake them out. Banana extract right here. So here's the deal. The recipe is posted above. Basically what you do is you mix all the dry ingredients together. Then you mix all the wet ingredients together. And then you combine the two together. And then you pour them in a pan. You pour them in a pan. Or I poured some in a pan because I made it like a quadruple recipe because my kids really, really like these. You either pour them in a pan, a loaf pan, or you put them into individual muffins like I did here because let's be real. These are so much cuter for the children and they get to peel off their own little, you know, Christmas wrapping. These are way cuter than actually having to slice the bread. Don't ask me, same recipe, same children. This is just not as much fun as having your own little muffin, right? So, and I have the leftover Christmas wrapping. So, okay, anyways, here's the thing. What the, the wet ingredients are, sour cream, sour cream that I have actually left over from chili. So sour cream, this is how I use leftovers also. This is what a smart mom does. Um, butter, so sour cream, butter, three eggs. Here's what one looks like, three eggs. Some vanilla, vanilla extract, real vanilla, whatever you have at home. I don't know why the, the color is so weird. Every time I put something near the phone, it just looks kind of weird, it looks kind of off. So vanilla, um, you can add, but you don't need to. I have maple flavoring here. You don't need to, I just happen to have this on hand because I'm always baking. Or I suggest the Lacanto maple syrup. You add a little bit of this, it's super tasty, goes great in banana nut muffins, okay? So a little bit of this, or you can add this if you want. It's not actually listed in the recipe though. Like I said, here's the banana extract, super tasty. You can make anything taste like a real banana with this sucker right here. And then you're supposed to use, hey John, you're supposed to use almond milk. However, I ran out of almond milk, but I like to use what I have at hand. So I have flax milk, which personally, I think everyone should be drinking flax milk because it's super tasty, really delicious, and you can use it just like almond milk. So I happened to put almond milk in this recipe and it turned out fabulous, but the recipe actually calls for almond milk, just so you know, okay? So you don't think that I'm crazy showing you flax milk when I'm telling you I'm typing out almond milk. It calls for almond milk, but I used flax, and that is okay. We're all gonna live, it's gonna be good, right? So, that's the wet ingredients. Then the dry ingredients would be your almond flour. Can you see that? Your almond flour. Powdered swerve, keto-friendly powdered swerve. Okay, this is confectioner powder swerve. And a little bit of baking soda. A little bit of baking soda. So here we go. And then, that's it, yeah, that's it. And then here's the thing. Like I said, I added chocolate chips, Lily's chocolate chips, and I didn't actually bring the packaging out here I would show you, but I've showed you guys a million times. Hi, Carol, hi, happy Friday. Hey, John, how are you? How's Texas? Carol, how's work today? Take off of work and come over here and have some banana nut bread with me, why don't ya? Okay, I use. I added some Lily's chocolate chips for my children, yes I did, and it's okay. And I didn't put it in the, in the macros, but it's okay. You can add these for your children, but if you're gonna use them for yourself, you're gonna have to do some calculations if you wanna add the chocolate chips. However, the recipe calls for walnuts, and I used pecans. Just saying, because I didn't have walnuts, I had pecans. Personally, I like pecans. So pecans go with everything. I think sometimes, mostly everything. I like pecans, that's what I had at home and I wasn't running out to the store. But it does call for walnuts. Walnuts and bananas go like this together. But pecans go just as well, I'm just saying. Super tasty, okay? So you can substitute nuts, you can substitute milks, you can substitute most anything except for regular sugar. Do not be substituting the regular sugar, that's all I have to say. And then basically what you do is you combine all of these ingredients, mix, 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 smile, 
and then you put it in your either muffin tin or you put it in your loaf tray. You could actually put it in a big sheet. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever you have on hand. Don't stress out about anything. It's Friday. Hi, Erin. Happy Friday. And then you pop it in the oven, 350 degrees for like about 10 minutes, depending on if you're making muffins or if you're making like a huge cake, right? The thicker one is gonna take a little bit longer than the muffins. I'm just saying, watch what you're baking. Just pay attention, watch what you're baking. Don't go upstairs and do laundry and then fall asleep in the laundry room because you might have some burnt banana bread. I'm just saying, we're all okay. Flax or almond milk is good, right John? Flax or almond milk, they're both delicious, right? That's it in a nutshell, literally in a banana nutshell. That's it, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Banana nut muffins, happy Friday. I hope everybody has the most wonderful, fabulous Friday ever. I hope you guys are doing something super fun this weekend. This girl right here will be at volleyball all weekend in case anyone's looking for me. However, I will come on later on tonight and talk about what I'm feeding my children for dinner. I don't have any idea yet and it's like noon. If you have any ideas, post them below. I would love to hear suggestions. All right, you guys, see you later. Happy Friday.